everybody and uh, welcome to another episode of late night football um it's not really a match reaction show but it is a title win reaction show uh, because Bayern Munich uh, have completed the perfect 10 is it a perfect 10 but it's 10 Bundesliga titles in a row congratulations to them it's a, a wonderful achievement uh, to win the Bundesliga I mean 10 uh, 10 times in a row no other major European league has had a winner uh, that's won it 10 times in a row. It's, it's uncharted t- territory, really, when you think about it. Rangers just couldn't do it. So they couldn't do it. Uh, Juventus couldn't do it. Uh, PSG haven't been able to do it either for all their dominance. So um, it's just a phenomenal achievement. But I mean, at the same time, there's a question mark there. And the question mark there is because, is it perfect? Is it, I mean, at what point does an achievement go from incredible to ludicrous and then to, you know, to, uh, well, something needs to change, right? Um, and, and I just, I mean, there was an interesting article in The Guardian about this, and it made a lot of sense that I saw it. But it's just looking back. I mean, I think about it uh, this 10 years ago. I mean, uh, Dortmund actually won two in a row. And uh, I mean, that probably was Bayern's low point, probably, especially the double that Dortmund did when they won the League and Cup. And they kind of just uh, hammered, uh, you know, blew uh, Bayern away. And then since then, it's been, it's been a lot of good management decisions as well. I mean, you know, they have won two Champions Leagues as well in that time, a treble as well. So it's not like they've just been, you know, flat right bullies. They've kind of also uh, come along in Europe from time to time. Uh, but I mean, that, that really, I think, was the watershed moment, that, that moment when Dortmund won the, the cup. And then after that, I think Bayern kind of changed strategy. They spent big on Javi Martinez. Uh, and then they kind of slowly started, uh, you know, they started buying up Dortmund players. Götze went, Lewandowski went, Hummels went. Uh, and then, of course, what they were doing as well as they had used, to, uh, you know, Götze wasn't so good, so they sold him back to uh, Dortmund. Hummel's not so good, sold him back to Dortmund. Rode, they didn't sign him from Dortmund, but they didn't uh, fancy him so much. They sold him to Dortmund, gave him to Dortmund. So um, it's been a bit of a churn. There's been a lot of different managers as well. Pep Guardiola, uh, you know, it started with Jupe Hinkes, uh, Hinkes, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. Then you had Pep Guardiola. Then you had, um, after that was uh, Blick Carlo and Chilotti. Uh, and then they brought in uh, Nico Kovac and, of course, uh, now, and, and then Hansi Flick and now Julian Nagelsmann. So it's been a lot of different managers. They still managed to keep that core. I think, uh, you know, some players as well, Thomas Muller, Robert Lewandowski, been there for a while. Thomas Muller, I think, has been there since the start. Uh, probably one of the few players who's been there from the start, still winning. And my man, Neuer, is another one as well. Those two probably been there from the start, winning title after title after title. Uh, so it's good for them. But, I mean, going back to the point about Ludwig's achievement, I think, What's now starting to happen, though, is that I do believe the Bundesliga um, is kind of getting poorer for it, uh, for Bayern's dominance. And, and there's a lot of reasons. I mean, we're not going to be able to cover everything today. And I would love to hear your comments as well as to why, um, you know, this is happening. I think, I think one of the big things is that Bayern are just ridiculously good uh, as a team. And everybody else is kind of, there, there's no other team that can kind of, um, you know, maintain that consistency. Everybody else is kind of on one level. And so you got, you know, Dortmund, uh, you know, Leverkusen, Leipzig, they're all here, and then the Bayern are just here. So these guys take points off of each other, and the Bayern just, you know, uh, go ahead. So that, that's what it is. Um, and, and oftentimes, you know, you might think, well, Bayern are just in the league of their own, and they're doing their own thing, and the others are kind of, um, you know, fighting amongst themselves for the other positions. So uh, maybe that's something that, you know, that exists. But uh, we are starting to see that uh, impact the Bundesliga. Obviously, the TV rights deal is going to be significantly lower. Uh, top German players are not, you know, playing for Bayern. You know, Bayern were doing that as well. Top German players wanted to play for Bayern. Now that's not, I mean, not, not necessarily top players, but young players, you know, are moving abroad. You've got uh, Harvard who moved abroad. You've got Werner who moved abroad. So the players are leaving uh, Germany, but they're not going to Bayern. They're going to other clubs. And um, whether that's mother money is a factor, uh, could be money, is one so many wages, there could be a factor, but also the fact that, you know, I think the competition itself is not that high. So players kind of feel well, we go somewhere else. We could probably, uh, you know, improve ourselves, probably go up levels. Um, you know, so that's there. Bayern themselves, so the quality has decreased a lot since that 2020. I think the last two years, people may not have realized this, but there's been a drop. It's not a significant drop, uh, but there's been a drop. And you think about it, um, you know, the fact is that uh, in, in the last uh, summer transfer window, they bought Uber Meccano and they bought Sabitzer. But Meccano has been hit and miss. I don't think he's had a, you know, I don't think he's an outstanding season, but I don't think he's had a bad season. He's been a hit and miss. Uh, replacing Alaba was obviously going to be a big task, but he's had a hit and miss season. So Bits has been poor. There, there's talk about, about selling him this season already. So he hasn't been there. Um, they've, of course, lost Alaba, uh, you know, in, in the summer transfer window. They might lose Lewandowski uh, this season as well. So it's it's what's, what's starting to happen now is I think a lot of players, I think, are, are starting to realize that it gets kind of boring after a while. You may start in the league title. Yeah, you won the league title, but what else do you have to show for it? So um, I do feel that, you know, some of the Bayern players themselves might think you want other challenges. 
and that kind of you know might reduce the quality of buying and that ultimately the league becomes poorer for it doesn't it when, when top players start leaving uh, your club and they start leaving the league to go to play elsewhere then that decreases the attractiveness of the league as well so uh, I don't know what the what the obvious solutions are the, the question is is it a problem for German fans I think that's something that German fans can answer is it really a problem for, for Germany if Bayern win uh, you know 10 titles in a row uh, you know is that a problem maybe it is maybe it isn't I'm sure it is but you know what what level of that problem really exists is, is something for German fans to answer um, uh, but you know at the end of the day I, I think what, what the big question really is 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 what how, what do the Bundesliga what can the Bundesliga do what are the solutions that could be then I don't know what solutions exist uh, sometimes these things go in cycles and buy them a ridiculously good cycle uh, but sometimes, you know, it, it just might be that other teams need a little bit of, of uh, uh, you know, of, of, of some sort of good management practices. Good, uh, you know, it doesn't help as well that most of the Bundesliga clubs are, you know, sell their players. Either they were selling them to Bayern, but now they're selling them abroad. A lot of players, you know, going abroad. Uh, you know, Holland is going to leave this season. Uh, he's going to leave Dortmund this season. You're probably going to have, you know, uh, there's probably going to be a couple of others as well. We're going to go. Bellingham will not be here for more than a couple of seasons. I think a lot of young players now are coming to the Bundesliga, but are looking at it as a stepping stone to something better. That's not what you want. You want your league to be the destination. You don't want your league, your league to be the journey to the destination. I think that's what's happening uh, with, the, with, with, with the Bundesliga. Is that a lot of outside of Bayern, and I'm sure Bayern probably is still the destination, but for the clubs like Leverkusen, for uh, you know Dortmund, for Leipzig, a lot of players are still looking at that as a des- as a journey. Like, yeah, let's go there, let's get the experience. And then we can move on to some other club. And so that, you know, that churn doesn't help other teams also maintain consistent title challenges. So yeah, there's a lot of factors, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the league, you know, it, it, you know, those things, there are some things that, you know, are out of the, out of control of Bayern Munich, some things that Bayern probably could do, uh, but, but, you know, some things that the league could do. I mean, Bayern, Bayern, you know, it's not incumbent on Bayern to make the league more competitive. I think it really is down to the Bundesliga and down to the other German clubs to figure out how they can be more competitive. But, uh, you know, that, that's really not for Bayern to worry about. So I, I doubt Bayern fans and Bayern would care that much about it. I do think that they will care about the fact that they, the quality of the team itself has reduced quite significantly over the last two years to the point now where we're talking, where they were they were pretty, uh, you know, average in the in the Champions League, I would say. I mean, they, you know, if you remember, there were a few, uh, you know, results against Salzburg as well before that. They drew, then they lost to else. So, you know, that's something that will be concerning and that might be in, uh, indicative of a larger problem. There are problems. Uh, at Bayern in terms of, you know, trying to replace the old cycle and bringing in new, in new players and all of that. So that, that there is, there is certain issues. As you know, at Bayern, they can handle a churn and they have been able to, you know, get through cycles. I think this is probably the third iteration of, of the team. Uh, you know, they still managed to win 10 titles in the last 10 seasons. I think this is probably the third iteration of that team. So, you know, uh, so they've been able to manage that and still win league titles. Uh, hopefully, uh, next season, they'll be more serious contenders. But, uh, and hopefully Bayern also can improve and, and get up to the level that we know that they can, but they're contending, not, not, not necessarily just, you know, sweeping the Bundesliga, but also contending seriously in Europe, because that really is the goal. Uh, but, I mean, for now, it's about enjoying the, the league title win. And, uh, you know, congratulations to all Bayern fans, congratulations to the players. I mean, it is, still, it is still an achievement. It may not mean what it used to uh, 10 years ago, but it's still an achievement to win, win the Bundesliga and to win it 10 times in a row is still quite incredible. And, uh, you know, so congratulations to them for that. Uh, what do you think of the, of the solutions over this league? Because it's a wonderful league, actually. It's a wonderful, it's a very, very passionate fans. The, fans is the, the, the German clubs have some of the most passionate fans in, in Europe. So they definitely deserve more than just to be the sideshow in, in the Bayern, uh, you know, uh, circus or whatever you want to call it. So hopefully, you know, some things will, will change and hopefully we'll have a more competitive league next. But let us know in the comments, what do you think about Bayern's win? What do you think about... Uh, you know, the dominance that they've shown and what are the solutions that could be presented. Uh, if you did like this video, please remember to like and share uh, the video. We always enjoy your support. And please also remember to, to follow us on Facebook uh, and on YouTube, as well as on Instagram. Uh, we'll, of course, post videos on all three channels so you can follow us uh, there. Follow us on all three channels. You know, we always, we always love the support and uh, we want to keep uh, growing this channel. We want to keep producing more content. So your support really helps with that. Uh, thank you so much. Have a good day or night. What I talk about from this. I know it's been a lot of videos today, but I uh, hope you enjoyed all of them. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye bye.